Saint John Baptist de la Salle is a man of service for the others. He is a French priest and an educational reformer who founded a unique group of religious lay people dedicated exclusively to education, the Brothers of the Christian Schools. This effort that he began impacted the millions of people and still continues to inspire educators until today. St. John Baptist is the oldest of 11 children, son of the wealthy couple Louis de la Salle and Nicole Mouet, and was born on April 30 in Reims, France. His devout parents named him after St. John the Baptist, the prophet who proclaimed Jesus, something he himself would do later in life. De la Salle proclaimed the word of God to the poor children all over Europe and later to the world. On March 11, 1662, at the age of 11, he received the clerical tonsure. This is a sacred rite, an act of shaving the head, especially to those who are inspiring to become a priest or member of a monastic order. On January 7, 1667, at the age of 16, he was installed as Canon of Rings whose work is to recite prayers of the church. On July 10, 1669, he took the degree of Master of Arts at College des Bons Infants. He graduated the Soma Cum Laude. At the early age, he decided to become a priest, and on October 18, 1670, at the age of 19, he moved to Paris to enter in the Seminary of St. Sulpice. However, a tragedy happened in the life of De La Salle. On July 19, 1671, his mother died, and months later, on April 9, 1672, his father died as well. With the happenings in the life of De La Salle, ten days after, on April 19, 1672, he lived from the seminary. He was 21 years old at that time. He took the responsibility to educate his four brothers and two sisters. Years after, Father Nicolas, spiritual director of De La Salle, advised him to go back in the seminary. On April 9, 1678, he was ordained as priest at the age of 26. Two years after, he received a doctorate in theology. When Father Nicolas died, in his will, Father Nicolas asked De La Salle to oversee the group of nuns that Father Nicolas formed in Reims. De La Salle took over his place as chaplain and confessors of the sisters. In the process, he learned much about the poor and about the educational situation in Rings. On March 15, 1679, he met Adrian Nile at the door of the convent of the Sisters of the Child Jesus. Adrian Nayel was a layman who had worked in Rouen for many years, providing schooling for the poor. A wealthy widow, a relative of De La Salle, had asked Nayel to see about founding a charity school for poor boys in Rims. Nayel's first call in Rims was at the convent of the Teaching Sisters. Upon hearing Nayel's intention and observing his lack of familiarity with the situation in Rims, De La Salle invited Niall to stay at his home so that they could consult with others in town on how to start a proposed school for poor boys. De La Salle's help was effective and the school was soon open. Gradually and without being aware, he found himself being drawn to a very different path, a situation that would take him to the world of the poor. On 1681, he brought the teachers to his home to live with him. He taught them some manners and trained them some basic education about being a teacher. He inspired and instructed them in their work. 
Later, they were formalized to their new place and became known as the Brothers of the Christian Schools. De La Salle and the Brothers experienced challenges and many controversies as they continued their mission. On November 21, 1691, Gabriel Drulin and Nicolas Vuillard made a heroic vow, a vow that they would continue their mission to establish the society even if they should have to beg or live in bread alone. Later, they became successful in building network of schools in Paris and throughout France. On 1715, De La Salle left Paris and moved to Rouen. There, he continued their mission and teach brothers about prayers and administer the prisoners. Four years later, on April 7, 1719, at the age of 67, his health declined and died in Rouen. His last word was, Yes, I adore God guiding me in all the events of my life.